Well, hello, comrade. I believe you're here to attack the British Isles in Sea Lion. Welcome, guys. This is Agrippa Maxenius. And the reason I'm doing a silly German officer's voice is in this particular update to Panzer Corps, we are able to play as the Germans in Operation Sea Lion. That is the invasion of the British Isles. Now, of course, this never actually took place. This was merely one of Hitler's many, many dreams that he wished he could do, um, along with many other unsavory things. But in this particular case, we actually get to go in and destroy this area. So this operation should be simple thanks to the intelligence provided by Hauptmann Liebe Prefitz, a reconnaissance pilot. His mission revealed that British planes have vacated the area and that there is no significant military presence. And of course, our first uh, actual battle is going to be on the Channel Islands. Uh, so we're going to proceed, and the Channel Islands, for those of you that don't know, are the tiny group of islands in between France and England. Um, during the war, the British, or excuse me, the Germans essentially just took over them without any fight whatsoever. Remember, Herr General, you cannot deploy any panzers among the other forces invading these islands. The only area where you can deploy panzers is the lower right corner of the map. The other area has been marked as Panzer Resting Area. So three JU-52s are at our disposal, and every division participating in the Battle of France suffered casualties. Uh, therefore, any surplus prestige will be redistributed among these divisions. That is amazing. This means that any amount of prestige will be reset at turn two. So let's get started, guys. Obviously, we're trying to take over these Channel Islands. I know we've got um, some beautiful paratroopers here. I'm going to want to bring them into battle immediately. And I think taking out the enemy air base is a good start. So let's go ahead and move over here. Ooh, I don't like uh, how this JU-87 is looking. There we go, bombing the airfield. Let's take a look over here at the rest of our planes. Um, hmm. I'd like to see what's actually over the water, but that tends to not be a great idea. We could easily be shot down by anti-aircraft. Uh, so let's go ahead and cancel that move and actually move one of our ships up. Oh, that's not our ship. Never mind. Well, at least we know what to attack now. So I'm going over here for this uh, 12th destroyer. And incredibly, it looks like we might do some damage here. We're doing actually quite a, no quite a lot of damage. I'm going to move here to the tro troop transports of the enemy and start opening fire as well. Beautiful. Now, of course, we still have prestige points, although in this particular battle, we have no prestige. So we only have these guys to work with. Um, let's go ahead. We want to get rid of these British airfields. Remember, if they have no air power to stop us, it's going to be a lot harder for them to put up any sort of fight whatsoever. Uh, I want to bring our paratroopers in. They will be used next turn. And as for our fighters, I'm getting a little, a little, yeah, that wasn't the greatest idea. Now we're next to an AA gun. That's not going to work out well. Um, but I might actually go for the supply dump, or actually I might just keep this bomber here while I move the rest of our troops in. So let's go ahead and do this. We've got a few transport ships here uh, with Pioneer, uh, and they can definitely put up a fight. Okay, come on, boys. Move forward. We will take these Britishers. I also want to make sure that we have an invading force here, and indeed we do. Look at that beautiful invading force. All of these guys are making it towards these Channel Islands, and hopefully if the English know what's good for them, they will not put up any fight. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Now, this is actually an artillery gun, not an AA gun. So I'm going to try to do some damage to it. It might not work out very well. We might actually use our Messerschmitts to scout the enemy a little bit. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to go out here and scout. And uh, sure enough, thankfully, thankfully, we did not find any AA guns, but we did locate an artillery piece and a 15th Rolls-Royce armored car. Uh, that's not necessarily something to scoff at. We will continue. Nine, we will not stop now. So I'm going to be going this way first. Our main objective is over here. Uh, but usually, uh, I mean, you know, in hindsight, it's not necessarily a good idea to go straight for that main objective. That's kind of what the uh, enemy's expecting you to do. Uh, but nonetheless, we do have the power of surprise here. And I think we will indeed send at least most of our troops over to this main area to take the city of St. Hilaire. Uh, let's move forward, and for those of you that uh, know about geography, I'm not sure which of the Channel Islands this is, uh, whether it's Jersey or anything like that, but uh, very interesting nonetheless. All right, we've got our transports up, and in fact, it looks like our Schnellboot can actually open fire here on the enemy destroyer. I'm really surprised that it can do that much damage um, to the enemy destroyer unit, but we actually managed to get some pretty beautiful hits. Let's go down here. These are our tank units, of course. And uh, like I said, or like the game said before, these units cannot move this turn. They're stuck here, uh, just basically waiting until we get to the next part of the battle. Uh, there's no way to actually get them on a ship or anything like this. Uh, this is where they remain. Uh, just the Panzer starting area. Okay, let's end the turn. I want to make sure I've made all my moves. And, and no, I haven't. We still have a few moves to make. I'm going to move this bomber back here. Start bombing these airfields. And there we go, three. That's the kind of damage I like to see. I'd also like to start taking out these enemy um, 
transport boats, but actually maybe it's a better idea to go ahead and take out the enemy artillery, because that's going to be a real pain eventually. That's what I'm going to do. Go to the artillery, BF-109. Good job. Now we end the turn, and I'm curious to see what the enemy's going to do. They're bringing that armored car down, already opening fire on our transports before the men are even out of the boat. And that's definitely a smart decision. Um, they've also got a destroyer here, and I should have known that they wouldn't leave this place completely unguarded. So we're going to have to get our guys out and get them out quick. And what's this? Is that a Bren carrier? It looks like it might be a Vickers a nasty little thing, and uh, it could certainly cause us a lot of problems. Here we go. So the enemy is putting up a decent fight. They definitely know we're coming. There's there's no doubt about that. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Actually, these were our ships. Derp, Agrippa. Um, but that's okay. We're going to continue bombing these areas here. And I'm going to do the same with these guys. And hopefully the two ships here have units contained within that can take the city of St. Anne. And we won't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, okay. So I really want to get our guys out onto the beaches. Uh, first things first, make sure that we get the perfect drop-off point, and I think we're going to have to, eh, oh boy, this is going to be tough. I think we're going to have to let this guy off first, sure enough, yep. We'll drop some paratroopers here. Where the hell did our paratroopers go? What in the world just happened? Oh my god, did the paratroopers miss their jump? Is that possible? Ah, I see them. All right, guys, um, so I'm going to go for the armored Rolls Royce. I hope we can get a hit. Apparently not. Uh, let's try to bring this guy over. And we'll actually open fire on the enemy destroyer. I don't want him doing uh, damage to my transport ships. Especially not the way they just did damage to that one. Let's bring this guy here. Bring this transport ship here. If we have to start from the bottom of the island to get in, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, and as for this transport ship, let's bring him up here. Give the enemy... Uh, confuse him a little bit, as it were. Uh, and we've also got... Look at this, it's a tomato truck. Oh my goodness, nothing could be more dangerous to the Reich than a tomato truck. We will immediately destroy this target, or open fire on it at least, and I'm sure the people in St. Peter Port are not very happy at the fact that we are basically uh, bombing the hell out of their city. But listen, that's a tomato truck, and Zephyra is not happy with it. We must destroy it at once. Here we go. We're going to try to bomb this airfield location once again. Didn't go as planned, but at least we're getting on the beaches now. And especially over here, we're definitely getting on the beaches. Oh yes, we've got an SDKFZ, possibly the most annoying German unit to the enemy possible uh, besides a Tiger. I love SDKFZs, uh, unless I'm playing against them, in which case they're the worst things in the world. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and take out, and if I say go ahead one more time, uh, High Command should have me shot. Uh, let's take out this destroyer. This is the 12th destroyer. Our fighter can go ahead and waste him, but apparently he missed this time. I want to take the Schnellboot and attack the destroyer. I don't want that destroyer reinforcing. I don't want him on the battlefield at all. And in fact, that's first blood for us. We just took out an enemy destroyer, and we've also got some units getting ready to drop here. Some German heavy weapons teams, as well as 16th Wehrmacht divisions. And uh, let me remind you guys that if you enjoy this, if you enjoy watching this particular uh, series then we can do what we did with Allied Corps, and we can start naming units after you guys. So if that's something that interests you, let me know, and we'll make it happen. Now, I'm definitely going to move this boat in here and take out the enemy transport ship, and sure enough, we did a nice amount of damage with the Schnellboot. I'd love to do some um, some actual research on the Schnellboot, because to me it's just a regular patrol boat, but a lot better. So uh, really like that thing. And let's make sure we've done everything. I'm pretty sure we have. Yep, we've done everything we wanted to, essentially. Okay, we could still use this fighter plane. And I'm not sure what this supply drop would do. I, I'm, I'm new to supply drops in the game. Uh, but I'm going to try to destroy the enemy where it hurts, in the supply line, obviously. And we'll go ahead and end our turn. See what the enemy has in store for us. All right, some AA guns. It looks like that continuously, that, that uh, armored car keeps firing at us. I don't know how much damage it can do, but it's certainly a bit of a pain. Um, and as you can see, that destroyer continues to attack. And we've still got some attacks on our poor little fighter here. Looks like they're also moving their anti-aircraft to try to take out our bombers as well, but they're actually missing quite a lot. Uh, that's a good sign. Sadly, that nasty little artillery hit is not a good sign. Uh, let's go take a look here. And we are going to jump on the beaches with these men here, yeah. 
uh, we'll also start moving forward with our infantry. And as you guys can see, I don't want to get our infantry into trucks because once they're in trucks, they're more or less useless. Um, let's open fire on the coastal battery here. Usually, I don't like attacking coastal batteries because you could just bypass them. But in this battle, I think it's necessary. We really do need to attack those coastal batteries. So let's get these guys out of the ships. Let's destroy this thing once and for all. Destroy a British transport ship. That's beautiful. And I want to get this fighter to do something as well. Uh, as for the Schnellboot, I'll actually move him over here. He might be of use later. Uh, and let's see if... Well, I don't want to go too near that at all. So I might actually fly all the way over here and open fire on the Vickers. And sure enough, we're doing some damage there. Let's take this uh, Ju-87, the Stuka. And boom, hitting the enemy airfield. Now, I'm at a loss. Should we attack the enemy airfield or should we attack the enemy APC? Well, the good news is that we don't even have to choose um, because we can do both. So we're going to move in here. We've now taken over this airfield and we'll open fire on the APC. And uh, soon there will be a Deutsche flag flying over there. So now that airfield's ours. We can refuel our guys here, which we really need to eventually. And uh, without an airfield in this campaign, you're screwed. Very little you can do. Let's get these guys out. We may need to reinforce them. Although I don't believe we have any prestige points. Oh, we have a few, actually. We've got 517 prestige. So maybe we could help them. I'm going to bring the Schnellboot in once again. Open fire on any of the enemy that I can see and target. And one of those units is an enemy transport ship. Uh, I don't know why they haven't landed their men yet. Probably a good time to do that, but it's a bit late for them now. There we go. Destroying the enemy transport ship, guys. And we also have another fighter plane. I will... I suppose try to bring him to the fight and actually use him for some recon. So I'm going to fly out there. It looks like there's nothing over here. Um, so maybe we can just take that area without any difficulty whatsoever. I will move this SDKVZ behind this enemy unit. Take that city of St. Breled. And I think we can also probably destroy the unit. And indeed, we just did a beautiful start on this island here. And we just want to keep it up. All right, guys. Good job. I'm so sad we can't move these tanks. I really wish we could, but they're just not made for these tiny islands. Uh, you know, they're, they're just not going to be effective enough. We'll drop that guy out here, out here. There we go. And I still want to take that destroyer out. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to move forward. Um, before opening fire... I actually want to take my plane and bomb this position first. Now, even if I don't do damage, I could at least suppress. And sure enough, I did do damage. So that's actually a win-win. Open fire. And look at that. The 26th Pioneer with their flamethrowers absolutely annihilating the British infantry in St. Peter Port. And this is a very important port to take, as you can imagine. I don't know if we're going to be able to take it this turn, but we did actually open it up for capture this turn. Sadly, we just don't have any units that can make the leap in there right now. And that is a shame. Uh, I'm going to keep bombing these enemy airfields. Or actually, now that the enemy doesn't seem to have uh, air support, oh, they do still have that AA gun. Damn it all. Uh, I guess we could always hit a tomato lorry, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go for this anyway. And we're going to go for this as well. And actually manage to take out at least one of the enemy artillery pieces. Yes, one is more than sufficient. Uh, I think I'm going to go for these tomato trucks. I don't trust them. I don't know why they would just be moving tomato trucks all over the place. And denying the enemy supply is one of the great rules of war. So if anything, we're, we're, we're still doing something good. We're still helping out. Uh, and we could also move forward even more with this SDKVZ. I'm trying to see if there are any locations on the map that are still victory points. And there are two over here. So I think I know what I have to do and start moving the, AK, uh, the SDKFC over here to the east. Uh, we'll pop up here. And if we could do any damage with our bombers, we will. Three damage. Beautiful. We'll do the same to the infantry. Basically, we're just going to keep this area under constant bombardment. I will go ahead and bring in some of our units. And look at that. Right away, we have something to deal with. Sadly, we can't disembark here, so I'm actually going to move to this side and get them out here. I hope that these uh, Gabus Yegas uh, <clears throat> know what they're doing, because this is going to be a pretty vicious fight. All right, we'll end the turn, and we'll see what the enemy is planning here. Of course, opening fire on our Schnellboot now. I guess they're getting annoyed that we got so many kills with that beautiful vehicle. And that's all right. Uh, here we go. That armored car had to move up, although he's running out of ammo. I like to see that. Maybe those tomato trucks are not tomato trucks at all, but ammunition trucks. 
uh, sort of a little Trojan horse action going on there. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this particular uh, gameplay of the new Operation Sea Lion in Panzer Corps. And if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, share it with your friends, uh, and we will turn this into a series, uh, an Operation Sea Lion series. So I hope that sounds like a fun plan. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day, and thank you again for watching.